Welcome to this Unif tutorial video. In this video, we will set up, train and evaluate a project using the MLLM algorithm. It is an algorithm for lexical automated subject indexing, which works by matching terms in document text to terms in a control vocabulary. MLLM is inspired by MAUI, an older lexical automated subject indexing tool, but it is implemented in Python within Unif. First, we need to edit the projects.cfg file by adding the MLLM project. On the left, you can see an example configuration for the YSO NLF dataset. On the right, there is a similar configuration for the SDW ZBW dataset. Next, we train MLLM with some full text documents. MLLM requires a relatively small amount of training data. The training should be done with similar documents to those we will use in testing. You can run the training using the unif train command. We will use the docs limit option to select 400 full text documents from the train subset. We won't be using the full train set because it would take a lot longer to train with the full set and the results wouldn't be that much better. The next step is to test the project on example documents. When you have confirmed that the project gives reasonable suggestions, you can evaluate it on a larger corpus. Let's see these steps in practice. I'm using Unif within VirtualBox, but the steps are the same in every type of installation. I will first open a web browser and go to the exercises of the tutorial and the MLLM exercise page. Then I copy the project configuration either for the NLF or the ZBW dataset to the clipboard. Here I choose the ZBW dataset. Then I open a text editor and I'll open the projects of CFG file that was created earlier. And I will paste the, the MLLM configuration and save the file. Next, I'll open a terminal window. I can now check that the MLLM project appears in the output of the unif list projects command. It is there. The vocabulary was already loaded when setting up the TFIDF project, so I won't have to do it again. Now I can train the project using full text documents from the train set. Let's again open the exercise page and then copy the train command. And I'll paste it here using shift control V and run it. Training should take a few minutes. Now it's done. Let's test the project with an example sentence. Again, I'm opening the exercise page and I copy the example command and paste it to the terminal. We got only a couple of suggestions, much less than for the TFIDF project. This is because the lexical algorithm only considers subjects that are explicitly mentioned in the text. In this short sentence, only these two subjects could be found. Now let's test the algorithm on a longer document. We will use the same document that was used to test the TFIDF project. Again, I open the exercise page and I copy this command and paste it. This time there were a lot more suggestions because it is a long document, so there are many more opportunities for matching subjects from the vocabulary. Finally, let's evaluate the MLLM project on a test collection of documents. Once more I open the exercise page and I copy the evaluation command and paste it to the terminal. 
evaluation should take around three to four minutes for the ZBW dataset and around 10 minutes for the NLF dataset. Now it's complete. We can note the F1 at 5 and NDCG scores and compare them to the scores of the TFIDF project. The scores should be much better for both datasets. Note that there is also an extra section in the MLLM exercise. This section explains how to create a learning curve which can be used to investigate how many training documents would be needed in order to get the best possible results. If you have the time, you can follow along the instructions to create your own learning curve. The same can be done for any type of ANIF project, not just for MLLM. Now we have finished setting up training and evaluating an MLLM project. Thank you for watching.